please like this video leave a comment and don't forget to share all right welcome to scanny tv on youtube once again yes we are aware that coach otto ado has come out with the 33 man squad to play the afcon qualifiers as well as the foundation tournament in japan and um, we have some players who actually missed out on this call up we are going to in this video look at five big misses um for the afcon qualifiers as well as the Kirin Cup is going to take place in Japan. So, before you begin, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to smash on that subscribe button below there. Put on the post notification bell on all for more updates on this channel. Are you ready? Let's begin. Alright, so let's start from um, the first player. That is Jeffrey Schlopp. Yes, as we are all aware, the Black Stars of Ghana will be preparing ahead of the AFCON 2023 qualifiers. And um, play very well against one Madagascar that is June 1st before playing Central African Republic on June 5th. And Jeffrey Schlop is the second highest appearance among the Ghanaian players. And um, he played 32 games for Crystal Palace this season. He was involved in five goals and scoring four and assisting one in there. So out of the five goals he was involved in, he scored four and assisted one, making him the third Ghanaian with most goal involvement. He made 18 interceptions, 125 tackles out of 46, he made 31 clearances and won 31 aerial battles and uh, he created two big chances in the season. Now the ringer was however left out of Utoado's 33-man squad for the qualifiers and the reason for his omission is unknown as Utoado is yet to address the press regarding his call-outs. Now Jeffrey Shop last played for Ghana Blast Stars in 2021 against ethiopia in the fifa world cup qualifiers and since then he has not been caught again we don't know what is going on whether um the player actually told the fa that's what we understand that the player told them that for personal reasons they should let his name be out of the squad i don't know what is actually happening but that's the news and uh, we have to hear it from the coach himself and uh, let's talk about a second player that is thomas tay party now the black stars deputy captain has been nursing an injury since april and um, he returned to full training before us not final game of the season against everton but he didn't play in that game as well and um, according to reports Arsenal suggested that the midfielder be excused from the ghana squad for precautionary reasons um that is what we understand that they actually asked ghana that they should allow him to recover fully and that is the only news that we have in other news i can't actually talk about it so um the third player we are going to talk about here is alfred duncan yes alfred duncan who plays for um, fiorentina and um, he is one of the you know names that many were expecting that he will actually earn a blast stars call up but no it didn't happen he had an impressive season in the Serie A with um, Fiorentina, which he capped it with all of with some fantastic goal against Juventus to secure European football for the move and White next season. Now, despite his form, he could not make the cut for the AFCON qualifiers. Alfred Duncan last played for Ghana Blasters in 2019 against South Africa in the 2021 AFCON qualifiers. So, we are still looking forward to hear something from the technical team and the fa i think and i was suggesting in my last video that it will be good if a press conference is organized to address you know issues that are actually popping up to clarify things in the space okay now that other player i'll talk about which happens to be the fourth player is andy yadom yes andy yadom played a part in Ghana's qualification for the fifa world cup 2022 yes he is a good right back um i i see him not starting games for ghana but currently if you look into the ghana squad we have only one typical right back in the team that is dennis odoy and um, we at least needed two in that position but we have only one maybe the coaches knows of the tactics to play or the kind of um game approach and other stuff so i can't really complain but he's had a good season in championship and was one of the best performers in his club he won the player of the season and um, he actually saved Redding from relegation as well Yadam appeared in um, who scores team of the season however he missed out on the squad 
or four AFCON qualifiers. Now, the fifth and last player I'll talk about in this video is Alexander Chiku. Alexander Chiku has been a consistent member of the Black Stars since the debut in 2021, and um, no one was expecting him to be out. And I think it is still for some reasons. Um, reports indicate that due to personal issues, the player requested to be secured from the squad or to be taken out of the squad and um, that is the only news we have other report also says that due to Sevilla and Fulham interest to bring him into the AC club the player has asked for some time to actually settle on his contractual issue since Strasbourg has also offered him a new contract and other news coming in but currently that's the only thing we understand that the player it is due to um personal um issues that is why he hasn't joined we also understand that he may be marrying over the weekend i don't know how true is it but let's just wait and see so these are the players that actually missed out on the blasters of Ghana's call up and i decided to react on them to you on this channel okay so we will also be coming your way with some new uh faces who actually um end call ups and why did they end the call up and other news here on this channel let me also bring an update on the players that a lot of guys are asking questions about them that is one edin ketia two tarik lamte three color horse and um uh, mohammed salisu then the william brothers now um in the jiffy with tarik lamte he will definitely play for Black, ghana black stars definitely he will play because um even he was asked out of the england under 21 squad his name was not in there and um his coach came out to say that the player has been approached by ghana and um he the player that's Tarek, has asked the coach to take his name out of the squad this tells you that yes um at least the player knows what he is doing so definitely he will play for ghana with the issue of color was he is in the process of switching, but he cannot play for Ghana until November. That is the new FIFA rules, so we have to just wait on him. Now, William Brothers may be visiting Ghana, as I've updated you here on this channel already. So let's just wait and see. As the season ends, we will see more news or we will hear more news from the two guys. With the issue of Eddie Nketia, Eddie Nketia is also in the process of switching. Yes, um, don't forget that England did not invite him, despite they invited Tammy Abraham, they invited Harry Kane, they invited um, Grealish and other players in there. He was not invited and we understand the player has chosen to represent Ghana. He has already acquired his passport and we are only waiting for the onward, um, you know, issues that he will actually deal with to switch society fully to play for Ghana. With Mohamed Salisu, I can't actually tell what is wrong with um you know his own i think the player still needs some time to make some decisions or maybe or just maybe he has already decided to play for ghana and will join later i can't really tell about his own so this is the latest news here on this channel for you don't forget to subscribe to the channel put on the post notification bell on all so just stick and stay for more on this channel this was Kenny tv and of course we shall meet later subscribe to the channel Hit on the notification bell for more.